Okay, everybody, so this video, as you probably already know, you clicked the video title and read it, and it said, really liked 870 trigger pull. So is your 870 this light? Look at that. That's super light. It doesn't even register on my trigger gauge. So if you want to figure out how to get your 870 or partner pump trigger this low, stay tuned, and I'll show you how to do it. When the catfish come up, just grab it. Got it. Okay, so you want to start off by disassembling your shotgun. You want to remove the trigger assembly only. And you do that by these two pins. So you might want a, some type of punch or some type of, you can use a nail or do it. And all these are just push pins, basically they're pushed right out. And they're kind of snug. The only thing that's really holding them in there is a the trigger group, nothing else. And that's it, they just pop right out. Now you just move your trigger group. And you can see here, <clears throat> this is already in a fired position. So what you actually need to change is the spring. Now this is my aftermarket spring that I done and put in there. And the spring that was originally in here was this one. So let me show you the spring details of what you have to do. So it's really super easy on this trigger assembly. My camera's not focusing in very well. But there's a little catch right here that the spring will catch on the front and there's a little basically a post that you slide the spring on in the back here so all you do is just pop the spring over and out and it comes right out so let's come over to the counter and I'll show you the actual details of the spring and how it works okay so let's start off with the basically the OE manufacturer spring that's what it's gonna look like and like I said this is how you attach it there's that post right there it's covered with that orange paint but there's a post right there at the tip of my thumb. And what you do is set the spring over top of that and it slides right down in that little groove. And then the spring just catches on this little notch right here. And that's what puts tension on your trigger. So if you want a super light trigger pull, I'll go ahead and install the OE trigger, or trigger spring to show you exactly what it does. And I'll show you here on camera just to be really quick. So you slide it down on the post. Post this, push that forward there. It might be easier doing it backwards. It's all oiled up, so. Okay, so that's how that original spring sits in there like that. And you can see um, the trigger. Let me go ahead and cock the hammer back and show you how much more poundage it is, the stock poundage. So I'm squeezing now. I'm still squeezing. Still squeezing. finally broke and that was about a three and a half pound trigger so like I said all you do to take your original one out is just push down get it off that notch it's pretty easy to get out and then it just comes right out so let's look at the aftermarket spring that I made for this so what you're gonna do is you're basically gonna find a pin that has a spring in it at the bottom of the, the ink, the ballpoint pen. And it has to be towards the ballpoint uh, end, not the top of the, the button. So you have this longer spring, and it's going to be longer than this, actually. So what I did was I put it up against the OE manufacturer spring and cut it about an eighth inch longer. And then you take some type of either pliers or needle nose or whatever you need to use to open the end up a little bit and that's what I did here I opened the last coil up just a hair and I'll go ahead and install it back on the trigger group and show you how I install this one okay so 
go ahead and put the end down in that that post now this will actually this last coil is going to sit right in that notch at this it's kind of hard because the springs just a tad longer but once you get it to fit in there you can actually get it to go around let me see here there it goes it locked in place and that's all it is right there so we're gonna go ahead and cock this cock the hammer back it's already cocked okay that's it it's so light it's a hair trigger now just two stage because you can hear it you can hear it actually grip There's that sec first stage. It'll budge. I'll do that again. This is why it becomes a two stage. Because it's barely grinding on the edge of that middle. So it's got a little slack in it, just a tad. You can see it. There's that second stage. Now you're on the second stage. It keeps going further, just a hair more. Then it breaks. Boom. This is a super light trigger guys, like I said, 870, two stage, converts a single stage to a two stage trigger using just only a ballpoint pin spring and it lowers your trigger pull by about probably three or four pounds from the stock trigger if you don't like the stock trigger. It's just ridiculously light. I mean it just, it's awesome guys. already in the second stage now bam it's so awesome it doesn't even register like I said on my trigger pull gauge so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install this the way I took it out so I hope you guys like the video if so um, you know if you're gonna try this do it at your own discretion I'm not responsible for anybody that messes up their own gun so anyways guys um, I hope you like this again as always thank you for watching we'll see you on the next video